Recent research shows that replacing your electric car battery is actually much, much less likely than what the media and what all the naysayers are actually saying. This is true. They say, oh, your battery's only gonna last this long. Well, actually they last much longer than any of them are saying. Battery packs have massively improved, but they still do fail from time to time. What does it actually cost to replace your battery? You'd be shocked at the difference between some manufacturers versus others. For example, BMW's battery per kilowatt hour is three times more expensive versus General Motors. That is a staggering difference. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. I've made 2,900 videos since we started this channel around 22 months ago. Great to have all the new subscribers here. Welcome to all of you. Welcome back, everyone else. This is the shocking cost to replace an electric vehicle battery. The shocking thing about it isn't just how expensive they are, it's the incredible variation in prices between one brand versus another brand. Why such a difference? I mean, is the reason being that one battery pack is just way better than another? Is the battery chemistry really that different? Or is it just some car brands wanting to make more money out of you? Well, yeah, I think you already know the answer, but I'll get to it in just a second. Now, it is true that battery packs will eventually wear out, but now if you buy a new model, Model Y or a Model 3, we're seeing them get well over 500,000 kilometers in range. In other words, a lot more than a gasoline engine, a lot more than a petrol engine, a lot more than a diesel engine. The average battery replacement in a study by Recurrent is 137 US dollars per kilowatt hour. That's um, it's quite a lot of money. Now, the BMW i3, it's the car that BMW used as their excuse. They said, BMW's CEO, Oliver Zips, said that EVs wouldn't work. They were a fad, they were a niche. He said this not long, in fact, when I started this channel, he said that. About a year and a half ago, he's since changed his mind. He's um, he's prayed to the, the gods of electric cars and he said sorry. And he's realized the errors of his ways. He's actually just realized that he was an idiot. He didn't know what he's talking about. That's the truth. But anyhow, the point is, BMW basically said, our EV isn't selling. It's not all that popular. Therefore, EVs aren't popular. Well, the i3 has always been very expensive based on its size. So is the battery pack. They can cost around 16,000 US dollars. But while that doesn't sound like a lot of money, it is when you consider the fact that it's not a very big battery. That means the battery pack costs $727 per kilowatt hour. Now in comparison to the price that General Motors will charge you per kilowatt hour, that is astronomical. The Chevy Bolt. GM themselves have listed the price of the battery pack at $15,734. That's around $250 per kilowatt hour. In other words, almost exactly one third the cost of BMW's battery. Now the Chevy Volt, not the Bolt, the Volt, which is the older model, that one costs $8,000. That means the pack costs around $467 per kilowatt hour, nearly double the price of the battery in the Chevy Bolt and the Bolt EUV. However, back in August of 2022, a dealer actually charged someone $30,842 for a Volt battery replacement. That's uh, probably more than the cost of the car at the time. Now, shockingly, the worst case here was actually Hyundai. If you want to replace the battery in your 2018-19 Hyundai Ioniq, the battery costs $2,853, which sounds cheap, but actually it's not because it's a tiny battery, meaning it's only one and a half kilowatt hours in size. It's minuscule. And that means that it costs $1,829 per kilowatt hour. Staggering. So what about a Nissan Leaf? Well, a 30 kilowatt hour pack, which is quite small in the Nissan Leaf, costs around $4,000. A 40 kilowatt hour pack costs six and a half thousand to 7,000. And a big, well, bigger for the Nissan Leaf, 62 kilowatt hour pack costs 8,500 to 9,500 pretty good price really when you think about it in comparison to some of the other cars in this list. That means the average price per kilowatt hour for Nissan battery packs is around $150 per kilowatt hour. It's significantly cheaper 
and a General Motors bolt pack, and it's clearly much, much cheaper than the battery pack in the BMW i3. Whilst it's more than 10 times cheaper than what Hyundai charge per kilowatt hour for their hybrid battery pack. So what about the most popular electric car in the world? Well, once a while ago, it was the Nissan Leaf. Of course, now it's the Tesla Model Y. But the Model 3 was also the car that began the electric revolution. It began it for Tesla, and it really began it for the whole world. The Model 3 battery pack cost between 10,000 and 15,000 US dollars, depending on the size of the pack. And that makes it one of the cheaper battery packs here. In fact, it's significantly cheaper than GM's Bolt and Bolt EUV battery based on the size of the pack. The Model S battery costs from 12,000 US dollars to 22,000 US dollars, depending on the size and the rarity of the model. And the Volkswagen E Golf, which has a 35 kilowatt hour battery, costs 23,000 $443, which is $654 per kilowatt hour, making it nearly as expensive as BMW's battery. That's, um, that's ludicrous. Now, which are the most likely batteries to actually be replaced? Well, that's tough because we, we only have data on actual recalls. And of course, we've seen enormous numbers of recalls for the Bolt EUV and the Bolt EV. And of course, for the Hyundai Kona, the media hasn't really talked about it, but the Hyundai Kona has had a massive amount of EV batteries replaced. Big problems in those battery packs. So clearly, if you have a battery made by LG Chem, your battery is much more likely to be recalled and replaced at some point in its, well, in its relatively new lifetime. And that means that the most common year for having battery problems in America is 2017 a massive number of Chevy Bolt and Bolt EVs were actually sold in 2017, and all of those had to have battery replacements. So there you go, as you can see, the battery pack prices for Nissan Leafs are actually very, very reasonable, but that said, the battery packs themselves are a, a, a little bit less complicated. They don't have a battery management system, and therefore they're probably a bit simpler to make. Clearly, Tesla's batteries are second place in terms of affordability on this list, followed by General Motors. Volkswagen and BMW, and even Hyundai here, they're all having a laugh and charging utterly ridiculous prices. They really should be taken to task for these prices. They are just stupendously priced and a bit of an embarrassment. It's the kind of stuff here where, you know, naysayers, people who don't like EVs, they can use that as ammunition to say, look, we told you, look how insanely expensive the batteries are. Well, for those models, they would be right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.